High School Basketball Season Preview Show is brought to you by Village Motors in Millersburg. I'm Matt Croy, and West Holmes coming off another solid year last year under Don Hall, going 12-10 and 10 on the season, and finished up tied for second place in the Ohio Cardinal Conference at 7-5 and five and fell to Tri-Valley in the sectional championship. Key losses, and they were graduates from last year's team, of course, star guard Chandler Wells, now playing college basketball over Bethany College. Also, Blake Morrison and Brock Zimmerle, but a lot of key guys back to this year's basketball team. When you think about Xander Schultz, Zevin Proper, Mason Wolf, and also Corbin Felton, all seniors for this year's team, and also junior Nate Fair as well. Now, alongside the first-year head basketball coach for West Stones, that is Seth Martin, and a coach I'm sure anxious to get this basketball season here underway. Oh, absolutely. You know, we're anxious. I think, you know, once we got our football guys, we've uh, you know, been putting some stuff in offensively and defensively, been working hard together, and I think we have a, just a good mix of older guys and younger guys that really like each other and, and are coming together. And I think you're going to see a team that, surprises some people early but the good thing is we still have a lot of time to get better and that's what you know our plan is just to continue to get better you know from from the, our first game tomorrow and then throughout the season so so hopefully we're playing our best basketball by the end of the year no question about that we talk about some of the key players i mentioned some of the guys returning here but what is going to stood out to you some of the guys we should be looking for this year's basketball team for west holmes well you know we're looking at xander Schultz to be kind of our leader uh, the guy that kind of keeps us keeps us going and, and keeps our just our whole team kind of even keel there. You know, we always talk about whether we're, pl we're plus 10 or minus 10. We, we still got to keep, uh, you know, just keep chucking along and not get too high or not get too low. You know, we also got, you know, Zevin Proper, who's a, a senior for us, who we're going to look at for some leadership as well. You know, Zevin can obviously shoot the ball, but he also is a, a very good defender for us. And then we got Mason inside and Nate Fair inside and, you know, a kid like Kyle Maltrich coming in who, who hasn't been able to play because of injury, you know, the last two years of basketball. He's going to come in and just be a, a superb athlete for us and, and someone that we can utilize in a lot of different situations. And then, we, you know, we feel like we got uh, some other pieces of the puzzle with Call, call Your Clients putting a lot of work. Uh, Blake Wagers is another a senior that didn't play last year. is back with us uh, this year. Sam Springs another kid that's, that's put in a lot of time. And then we have a, a freshman, Bean Martin, that's put in a lot of work that's going to come in and, and be able to uh, put up some shots for us as well. So we feel like we got a good, uh, you know, a good amount of talent and a, a good amount of guys that, that want to put in the work and will give us a, a chance to have a good year. Should be excited. New question about that. Now for you, first year as the head coach for West Holmes, for a style of play, what are you expecting for your team for this year? You know, we just want to we want to share the basketball. You know, everybody knows each other's role, and uh, offensively, we want to share the basketball and make sure we're getting great shots every time. Uh, we we want to push with the purpose, but also be able to you know settle down and get into a half court offense and get the ball to the right people's hands. Then defensively, want to be able to you know get up and pressure people a little bit, and definitely got to be able to to be good in the half court. You know, do we want to run and run and trap people? Absolutely, but there's you know the higher level you get. You better be able to play some half-court defense, and that's what we're really, really trying to stress right now is getting in the right spots, communication, playing with high intensity, and, and being able to finish, you know, finish defensive possession with the boxing out and rebounding. How key is it, do you think, Coach, when you think about whether it be basketball or even football, guys have really kind of built some uh, winning mindset here the last couple of years just going into this basketball season? You know, that's the thing, you know, that it has some success in basketball and uh, had some uh, supreme, extreme success in football. And that's the thing, the football guys that we do have, they know how to win. And uh, they brought in some hard work and some, you know, they're dedicated to, to working hard not only in the basketball court but in the weight room and, and working hard in, in, in school as well. And that's just something that, you know, you can't, you can't take away from these kids is the hard work that they have and the effort that they're going to give. So that's just something that we're looking forward to that, you know, myself and the rest of the coaching staff are, are happy with, uh, the work ethic. And we just think we have a lot of good things that come this way. Coach, thanks for your time. Good luck this season. Oh, thanks. You really appreciate it. And alongside three senior basketball players for this year's West Olds Knights basketball team with Zevin Proper, Alon Simon, also Xander Schultz, and also Mason Wolf. And it started off with Zevin, and Zevin's certainly a key part of last year's team, certainly as a guard here. What have you tried to bring to this basketball team or trying to bring to this basketball team from a leadership role uh, this season? I try to bring uh, confidence to our team, bring uh, leadership. And uh, now that we have Chandler Wells and BMO gone, uh, I really try to step up as our starting point guard with uh, here Xander as well. What did you think you learned last year, just getting a chance to play in some big games and be a big part of last year's team? How has that made you more ready for, for this year's basketball team? Uh, I think it makes me uh, more confident, and I feel like uh, we need to move that ball more uh, instead of just having to stand at half court. Just get that ball moving, and I think we'll be fine. Obviously, you're a ball handler, going to be a guard, handling the ball quite a bit last year. But also, when you think about this year, you know what you can do from a shooting standpoint, too. How can you bring that role here, that sharpshooter, if you will, for this West Wales basketball team this year? Uh, well, teams see me as a sharpshooter, then that leaves our, our teammates more open in the paint or other shooters like Xander and uh, Sam Sprang to be wide open to make their shots, too. 
All right, that's the voice of Zevin Popper. Also, Xander Schultz alongside me, another senior guard for this team. Averaged just over seven and a half points per game last year. And how about you, Xander, just being such a big part of last year's team? How does that help you kind of transition to being a senior this year? Just staying in the weight room, staying positive. Always putting up shots, making sure everyone's okay. Little stuff like that goes a long way. Now, just as far as on the basketball court, Xander, what are you expecting to, to try to do here for this basketball team this year? Just be that guy, really. Grab rebounds, be athletic. Do whatever, yep. do whatever you have to do. Yep. Now, just to, so far, when you think about scrimmages and things like that leading up to this and playing for uh, head coach Seth Martin, can you talk about how that's gone here and what are you expecting to, from I this uh, basketball it. team too? I love it, and I'm excited for tomorrow and the rest of the season. That See should be a, should be a lot of fun. All right, Corbin, yes, there's Evan Sander. Thanks you alongside Mason Wolf also alongside the, the big man uh, for this West Holmes team. And, and Mason, obviously, a big part again last year's uh, team for, for you. Uh, what are you trying to bring to, to this year's team? Uh, my main thing bringing in is leadership. Uh, over the off season, all of us were getting in the weight room, getting here. A lot of us came in here at 5 a.m. every morning before school. We were putting up shots, and I know what we can bring, and we're going to be very special. Mason, obviously, it's a different sport, football to basketball here, but just uh, from a leadership standpoint and from a winning mindset standpoint, how can that carry over possibly to the basketball floor? Um, we all know how to play together because we're all so tight, and we're all a great bunch of friends. and. Uh, we all know how to win from football and previous years in basketball, and we just bring that tradition and keep it going. I think, Mason, you think a lot of good guards here along with these two guys right here, but you're kind of that guy inside here. Uh, how much pride do you take kind of being that guy inside, the guy that kind of can mix things up, do the dirty work, I guess, for this team? Um, I take the pride in setting good ball screens for them because I know if I'm open, they're going to hit me. And just doing the dirty work, getting the boards and pushing the team and leading them to a victory, hopefully. All right, Mason, thanks for your time. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Well, Highland coming off another terrific season last year when they went 23-5, and finished up as the IVC South Division champions at 11-1. And, of course, they fell in the state semifinals in Division Four, falling to eventual state champion Richmond Heights from a season ago. And as far as Highland, of course, key graduates from last year's team, you think about uh, point guard Grant Miller, Tony Yoder, also Caden Miller, part of last year's team, Chris Scheller, and also uh, Dylan Weaver, all a part of last year's team, now gone to graduation. But some key returnees also, Junior Sharpshire, Sammy Detweiler, certainly a guy the Highland's going to lean on a lot this season. Also a senior defensive specialist, Finn Kelly, and also junior big man in Alex Yoder. Let's go out at this time to the Perry Reese Junior Community Center to Jake Seidel, who's alongside Highland head basketball coach Mark Schleyball. Jake Seidel here with Highland boys basketball coach Mark Schleyball. And coach, coming off a season uh, where you were state semifinalist and losing to the eventual state champion in uh, Richmond Heights, uh, uh, you know, that's always a hard thing to do, but like starting a new season, what are you telling your guys about this 2022-23 campaign? Well, um, you know, we lost uh, six seniors, uh, all really good players. Um, you know, really we have one guy in Sammy Detweiler coming back that played a lot of minutes for us last year. So uh, we're very inexperienced, but, um, you know, our, our goals don't, don't change. You know, our goal is to be playing our best basketball at the end of the year. Um, you know, our tournament – uh, success is is our priority and so um, we know that this year is just going to be a, a learning experience and, and our goal is to get better every day um, and, and be a good team by the end of the year. Okay and coach you said you did lose a lot of seniors but you know Highland it's always seems like it's a reload rather than a rebuild kind of thing and especially with the Sammy Detlein we're coming in and I was a junior uh, what can you tell us about his work and how he's helping the younger kids? Yes I mean Sammy's you know it's it's when you're uh, when your best players are your hardest workers, uh, you know you've got a chance to have a good team, and uh, you know we've got that again this year with Sammy um, and Carson Hobbiger, who's had a, a tremendous off season. You know those guys work very hard; they set the the tone for the rest of our guys. Um, yeah, you know we we lost a lot of good players. We've lost in the last couple years. We've we've lost tremendous senior leadership, and uh, you know we're just really fortunate that we've had kids put a lot of time and and uh, hard work into the off season. Um, to give us a chance to, to have a good year again. Coming off a 60-50 to 50 win over University School in your uh, opening game this season, Coach, uh, what did you see in that game? Anything uh, you really like seeing? Anything you want your team to improve on? Yeah, uh, I mean, first game of the year, There's it, it, at times it was uh, – it's a little ugly, but I, I was I was happy with our young kids that had not played in varsity games before, uh, how they responded to some adversity. Um, 
you know, we did not come out tentative. We came out really aggressive, so that was good to see. Um, but, you know, university school, is a, they, they play a style of, of basketball that we don't see much, uh, very up-tempo, very chaotic. Um, it, it's not like the, re- what the league games that we play, which are very um, – more controlled and, and, and you know, coaches are in, in our league games are going to do everything possible to, to not let Sammy even catch the ball. And university was just more of a free-flowing game. So it was good to play in that game because I thought that that was the kind of game we maybe wouldn't have a lot of success in, and our guys responded pretty well. well thanks for your time today, Coach. Good luck on the rest of your season. All right, thank you. Here with Sammy Dentweiler, now a junior on the Hawks team, and uh, Sammy coming off a 27-point performance against University School in your uh, opening matchup. Uh, what did you see out of your team, and what did were you proud of uh, specifically in either in your performance or what you saw from your younger teammates? You know, I'm just proud that we competed so hard. We prepared, we prepared really nicely in practice for that team, and uh, they're a tough team. We played pretty well, handled it pretty well. Uh, coming off a state semifinals appearance uh, last year, losing to the eventual state champions. Uh, but you're coming in now a junior. Uh, you've got that experience under your belt, and you've got to take a place of some of those senior leaders. What are you doing uh, to fill that leadership role? You know, just trying to get guys to compete hard every day. You know, know what it takes to get back to that spot. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, always a hard uh, hard schedule in the IVC. Uh, what are you guys expecting to see out of some of your conference games? And then I know you play a tough non-conference schedule as well. You know, we're expecting tough games. Uh, we want tough games so we can get into that tournament and have experience for those games. Well, Sammy, thanks for your time today. Good luck on the rest of your season. Thank you. We'll send it back now to Matt Croy. Well, once again, look for plenty of basketball throughout the course of the season here on WKLM FM 95.3, as well as WKLMFM.com. Also, we're going to be video live streaming many games throughout the course of the basketball season, courtesy of our partnership with Claxim Communications on the WKLM YouTube page. So don't miss that. Over 66 regular season games and plus more than that from the Classic of the Country and more here on WKLM. So don't miss all of our coverage for basketball all season long right here on WKLM, along with our video live stream coverage on YouTube. That'll wrap things up for our boys' high school basketball season preview show brought to you by Village Motors in Millersburg.